Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Regan Liswaniso and welcome my friend here. His name is Pomwene. Before we begin with today's lesson, I'd like us to follow the COVID-19 rule regulations. First off, we start by sanitizing our hands. You rub the sanitizer in your palms, through your fingers and on top. And do not forget to check the social distancing. Make sure that the person is at least one meter from you. Today's lesson is sexuality and sexual health, focusing on STDs, HIV and AIDS. Okay, learners, let's turn to page 23. Let's start with today's competencies. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain that there is no cure yet for HIV AIDS, but there are life prolonging treatments. Discuss the myths and the taboos around HIV and AIDS. Some of the words that we are going to encounter today are taboo, which simply means a social or religious custom prohibiting or restricting a particular practice or forbidding association with particular person place or thing, and myths, a widely held but false belief or idea. Explain that there is no cure yet for HIV, but there are life prolong prolonging, prolonging, prolonging treatments. There is no cure yet for HIV, but there is medicine for life prolonging treatments called antiretroviral or simply known as ARVs for treating HIV infections and to prevent it from becoming AIDS. Let's turn to page 24. Myth and taboos around HIV and AIDS. Discuss the myth and taboos around HIV and AIDS. There have been a lot of myths and taboos that spread about HIV and AIDS over the years. We need to be aware of these myths and taboos because wrong information is dangerous and can lead to further spreading of AIDS, uh, HIV and AIDS. For example, having sex with a virgin can cure HIV AIDS. Having uh, sex with a virgin cannot cure HIV and AIDS. HIV AIDS turns your skin lighter. You can get HIV AIDS by sharing utensils. HIV AIDS patients are always thin. These are all, all false stories, but myth to mislead the nation, especially people that are easily convinced. Now let's look at some of the ways how HIV AIDS can be transmitted. Unprotected sex. When you practice unprotected sex, HIV, you are at risk of contracting HIV because bodily fluids are being exchanged. Drug addicts. During the use of um, drugs, your brain, this affects your brain, it alters your judgment and lowers your, your, your decision making. So you are most likely to engage in unprotected sexual intercourse or share needles that may contain blood and we all know that HIV lives in in the, in the bodily fluids such as blood. Blood transfusion, mother to child, a transmission of HIV can be during uh, pregnancy or at birth or through breastfeeding. Non-sterile instruments how is HIV AIDS not transmitted? One cannot contract or transmit HIV through touching, uh, through sharing of food, or through kissing. Why is it not possible for someone to get um, HIV through kissing? Because HIV cannot, uh, cannot live or cannot survive in salivas. Insect bites. This is also one way on how HIV cannot be transmitted because insects do not have receptors or um, do not have receptors 
and cannot get infected by HIV. Therefore, they cannot transmit HIV virus because it's digested in their stomach. Or simply by taking a swim in, a, in the pool with someone, you cannot get HIV AIDS. Let's turn to page 25 for our self-assessment. Discuss the myth and taboos around HIV and AIDS. Remember to sanitize your hands. Again, rub through your palm on top of your hand and through your fingers. Remember the social distancing, at least a meter between you and the next person. Always wear your masks whenever you are outside. Until next time, have a great day. What is social distancing? Hi everyone, I am Zoshi and I am back. It literally just means that you need to stay home all the time and keep away from crowded places. And remember to keep your distance from your friends too. Everybody stay safe. Yay! Till next time. Bye!